Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. Budge Dice Roll here, and we are back in Farming Simulator 22 on Iowa Plains. Uh, yeah, guys, so this is uh, pretty awesome. We were talking uh, with a couple people at the co-op, and apparently uh, Farmer Leroy here, uh, he needed some assistance with getting this uh, this field taken care of. And since we already had our plates and everything set up for wheat harvesting, uh, it was too easy for me to get out here. He was having some combine issues. Uh, gonna take a, gonna take more time than he's got for replacement parts to come in. So I offered a helping hand, and he offered a nice little, uh, nice little paycheck. So we're out here on his field, and we're gonna get this wheat harvested up for him. Uh, yeah, so on top of that, Dave up at the John Deere dealership got in touch with me, and uh, they got in a steal of a deal from Ravenport, one of our neighboring farm towns. Uh, somebody had traded in their John Deere 9RX series. I would love to be able to pick this thing up, uh, but that is going to basically wipe my budget uh, it's two hundred and twenty-seven thousand. I'm figuring that for uh, my other John Deere tractor here, I could probably get about ninety, ninety-two k on trade-in for this thing. Uh, doing this field, we negotiated a price of about twenty-six k. So I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that we're gonna have the funds available to purchase it unless I were to kind of take out a little bit more of my loan. We take a look at our financial ledger here. We will see uh, that, yeah, we, we just got that new, that new 6R tractor, and that kind of put a little bit of a, of a dampener on our wallet. We're at $250,000. Uh, the bank said that the most they'd be able to loan me at present operating time is 300k so it might be possible to do but we're going to be on a shoestring budget if we go that route but uh yeah i mean there really ain't nothing to it but to do it we're going to go ahead and cut a couple of headlands in here and get that process rolling by the way guys if you've been watching this series uh you know if you would pretty please like comment and subscribe on the videos 85 percent of my viewer base is not following the channel and if you just hit that hit that, that the subscribe button, that follow button, that would be phenomenal. Uh, I would love to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year, and I literally cannot do it without you. So if you have not, uh, if you have not followed the channel, but you're enjoying this content, please follow the channel, hit that like, and leave me a comment of like what your favorite tractor or combine brand is. Uh, just something to help the algorithm realize that people enjoy this content and want to watch it. Appreciate you so very much. And let's go ahead and get started here. Fire up the combine. Combine's up and running. Go ahead and get our thresher turned on here. Uh, as we are playing with the combine experience mod. And we will get our head turned on as well. And we're just going to kind of work our way through this field. Let's go ahead and get this headland cut. And this will be great. All right. Okay. Initial is hitting pretty slow. Not terrible, though. Not terrible. All right. Um, it looks like, uh, yeah, we're looking at about 113 tons per hour. His field is pretty dense. I'm wondering, wondering what strain of seed he went with on this field out here. Because we are getting, uh, we're getting, yeah, some pretty good numbers. Man, I might have to take a book, uh, take a take a page out of Farmer Leroy's book. 
because yeah he's got a good dense crop now i mean we did get double uh on our on on our field uh on our wheat harvest than we did last year and i think that's because i went with those pioneer seeds um you know we've had a pretty dry season this past season so i got some uh some good seed that kind of does well with uh drier drier conditions and i feel like that uh in addition to how good we were taking care of the soil just really helped us with a good uh with a good harvest so yeah all right i mean we have quite a bit of fuel ahead of us here it's gonna take a hot minute but i think we're gonna be okay we're getting really good uh we're getting really good harvest yield on these fields right on this field so far and yeah the wheat is just filling up so yeah we'll see how long it takes for us to bang this field out i would love to be able to pick up that 9rx i'm really going to debate i'm going to talk with the talk with the wife about it and just kind of you know look at what all i've got going on uh, i know that the co-op should be coming to uh, or the farmers market should be coming to pick up some of the uh, produce that we've got from the greenhouses so maybe between that and possibly some uh, some milk sales we could be kind of closing a little bit more of that uh, that gap and not having to take out too much more uh, line of credit with the bank I really want to get that paid off but uh, that 9rx is gonna give us nearly a hundred more horsepower and that's gonna open up pretty much any big pieces of equipment that we're gonna uh, end up with on the farm eventually and at a 46% discount off of buying it brand new, I mean, you just really can't beat that price. So I'm going to get this headland cut in here, and uh, then we are going to probably go ahead, and I'll get some drone footage, we'll get some time lapse, and go from there. All right, guys, so we, uh, we finished the field. Uh, field 24 doing that work for one of our fellow farmers at the co-op and he let us keep uh, some of some of the extra wheat that we harvested so I'm gonna just go ahead and add this to the wheat that we already have in stock in the silos uh, 78 cubic meters so this is gonna be good we'll make sure to sell this uh, at the same time we sell all the rest of ours just that extra bump in cash there was either the the choice of taking this extra grain or taking a little bit extra pay so i decided we'll go ahead and take the extra grain and that'll pay off later on we do have to do some maintenance and upkeep to our vehicles though the uh the x9 is really dirty and you know between taking care of our fields and taking care of uh, field 24 we're definitely going to need to do some service on the header the uh, header's got a little bit of uh, damage, a couple, couple bent tines and stuff like that we need to get fixed. Uh, so we're all kind of <laughs> over here by the wash, wash or pressure washer and uh, be taking a few things into the, to the barn here to work on. But uh, we're pretty much, pretty much done for the next couple months on harvesting. So that's, that's fine by me. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get a few things cleaned up. Uh, and then I think we're going to go ahead and call it a night and we'll be back. We'll be back next month in August and we get into some stuff then. All right. It is a beautiful August morning here and we're just going to go ahead and add some more manure here for the, uh, for the growing of our pineapples. We're good. I have to get some more water over here too, so I'm probably gonna have to go snag my uh, little water. Actually, I think I have it up at the cattle barn right now. I was using it to transport milk into town. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and make our way up that way. We've got a few things to get done today. We need to mix more TMR for the cattle. I want to try to mix out probably. Uh, I'm gonna think. As far as TMR goes, I'm probably going to mix uh, a couple, two, three uh, wagons worth just to make sure that we have enough. 
going into the uh, the fall here. But we're doing pretty good, all things considered, out here on the farm right now. We've got plenty of uh, hay, straw, silage over there. We got tons of manure. So it's a uh, pop out here real fast. Get this opened up. Yeah, tons of manure, tons of straw, tons of hay, tons of silage. Uh, probably got a pretty good amount of slurry too. Let's come over here and check our slurry pit. Um, yeah, so we've got like 50,000 liters of slurry. Uh, I might need to look into some sort of a, sur a slurry sprayer or some sort of a, some sort of a spreader or sprayer that we can use. Personal. Go grab our EMR cart. Get ourselves mixing up some good TMR. There we are. Might need to grab my bale, uh, my bale handler over this bucket. Make it a little bit easier on myself. But we'll, uh, We'll get some get some of this TMR mixed up here. Actually, I need to check on this straw. I think we got enough straw in here for bedding. Yeah, like we got thirty thousand liters of manure. Yeah, we got plenty of straw in here for bedding. Look at these happy little cows. Our fifty head of cattle here. They are doing good. They've made a good little bit of milk. We might have to make a milk run. I might need to get in touch with the bakery in town, as well as the dairy, and see if. Uh, see what milk prices are looking like but all in all things are looking real good here and i guess i could also phone down to the uh to the dealership and see if there's anything decent for for sale down there uh unfortunately had to skip out on that 9rx and uh the 8r that they had in the shop there was just financially i just didn't want to have that setback i didn't really want to take out any more on my line of credit with the bank uh, but, you know, sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. Everything's looking good. I need to get to the point where I can actually get this up and running again. Um, either that or potentially sell this off. Uh, I don't really plan on growing any sort of root crops, although I might, maybe. If I can get another field, uh, I might grow some root crops, some potatoes or uh, carrots, maybe even parsnips. Uh, how are we looking down here at the grass field? Grass field is looking... It's looking okay. It's ready to harvest, but we'll give it another month so we can get a real good harvest on it. Then I actually need to get in touch with the local uh, egg and uh, see if we can get somebody to come out to do soil samples for us. I know that I was going to wait until we hit the soy field over here, all of our soybeans, and just kind of do both, but I think it'll be cheaper. I might get a, see if I can get a cheaper quote from them come out and hit this field just so I can kind of see I think what I really need to do after I do my next batch of uh of uh grass harvesting is I probably need to come back through here and spread some uh spread some lime on the field and then roll it all in and it looks like our soybeans are doing great here uh could have used some rolling but that's fine beans are growing real good uh expected yield isn't as as, as awesome as it could be uh, but once we know what our soil composition is and we get the correct uh, pH and nitrogen values in, I think we'll be doing great. So I'm going to go ahead, mix up some TMR, get the cattle taken care of, make a few phone calls and see what's what. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be back with you guys with a plan of attack for the rest of the day. All right, so I've actually finally figured out a good mix here on this TMR cart, and that's to use one bale of hay, one bale of silage, and about half a bale's worth of straw. I'm not filling the cart completely, but I am, uh, I am filling it up just enough that we're getting a good run on this here. And I did get off the phone with Dave down at the dealership and he says they actually have a new weeder in 
uh, that's kind of it's better than the one that I have so I'm gonna go see about getting those swapped out and get this uh, this row star uh, weeder that's down there over the kind of just standard one that we have now it's gonna give us a wider working width and it's gonna be good for us when we start doing corn which will be soon dot tm I'm half tempted just to have this have this uh, this barn dismantled here this this uh this pig shed dismantled and instead start getting myself set up for corn uh, i want to get kind of a few things in play for that uh potentially potentially expand the size of my cattle maybe have a like a calf barn put up over here instead uh but i'm gonna definitely need to get a couple of uh i'm gonna need to get an anhydrous tank for sure i'm definitely gonna need a corn dryer because we don't have one down on the main silo there uh so i'm thinking i'm probably gonna need to do that it's gonna be expensive but i should be able to recycle a good bit of uh the materials from this and see if there's any other people in the co-op uh that might be looking for things and yeah that's probably going to be the route that i take uh, over the next couple of months getting that done uh because yeah like i don't think we're going to be raising pigs on this property uh cattle for sure and we have our little bit of chickens down there but i don't think we're going to be uh i don't think we're going to be doing any sort of pig production i do want to get into the corn business though we are here in iowa we are one of the largest corn producers uh in globally actually uh so I want to get on board with that, get my uh, fields planted and ready, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to do a few things, make a few, run a few errands, and then we will be back uh, with our new piece of equipment. Actually, I'll show it to you guys real quick here. I have this catalog, and you can see here we have this Chopstar 590 plus Rogard here, and this thing is going to be awesome. This give us a lot more working with. We'll be able to pull it here with our uh, smaller... Uh, our smaller tractor, our 6155. Yeah, so that'll be awesome. There are a few other things. The 9RX series is still here. So is this 8R, but we ain't going to be able to get that. I would not mind picking up this, uh, I would not mind picking up this man, uh, semi truck. This would be pretty nice to have, honestly. This making it a little bit more useful on me, especially if I could get a bigger trailer for harvesting. Yeah, I mean, this might be a thing. We're, we're, we'll, we'll look at things. We'll, we'll get some things uh, figured out, maybe get an estimate on what it's what we're going to get out of having this thing removed from our, our property, and we'll go from there. So uh, just going to get this trailer back back in here, and then I will go run into town, which is needed because i actually need to go pick up some more fuel for the uh i need to go pick up some more fuel to put into our petrol tank our fuel tank for those of us here in the u.s yeah i'm gonna go make a few runs into town uh, i need to call the i need to call the farmer's market and see if when they're sending somebody out to uh pick up the, uh pick up the the veg and everything i need to get this over here filled up with some more water get water out there i need to actually put my bucket attachment back on and get some more manure so we have a lot of little tasks that need to be done on the farm uh going on today a few a few admin things but i think first things first is we're going to run into town and pick up our new rogar okay so yeah here we are this is our old uh our old system here this new matastar 900 from einbach we're just gonna go ahead and get this thing sold we have very little operating hours on it go ahead and repair it though sell this in so uh getting about 11 40 back and and about 19k on uh on the rogard here so let's uh let's go grab that will be pretty awesome little addition to the farm you can already see that this double the working width and at it great this will be able to handle small to medium weeds for us awesome all right 
Okay. Yeah, that is going to be great, this little chop star. And I did get in touch with the folks at the farmer's market. They are going to be sending out somebody to come uh, pick up lettuce and everything. Uh, the lettuce and the pineapples from the greenhouses. Uh, we've been making pretty good profits on that, which is nice. A uh, couple thousand bucks a month. So, it's, uh, you know, growing pineapples in Iowa. Well, you know, maybe people don't think about that. But, uh, yeah, you know, with the greenhouse, anything is possible, right? I tell you what, though. I still want to get these fields lined up. I would love to be able to get a hold of this field right here and kind of connect it up with my other field that we actually harvested all that weed in. I think I might keep a good portion of the wheat keep feeding the chickens because uh, I don't really plan on growing wheat anytime soon. Here you can see. So here's this field and I would love to connect it up right here. Just uh, go ahead and plow this little strip right through here and connect these two fields together and just have one nice long cornfield there. And then another huge cornfield over here. So, and that would be great. I'm still going back and forth on that man, uh, that man truck. I don't know. Like, I want to get it, but I don't know if I should spend the money on it right now, or if I should kind of see what my other options are going to be for for sales. I know this much. We're going to get this guy in over here, and I need to figure out what I'm going to do that field i don't think i want to let it sit fallow or uh i don't think i want to let it sit fallow so i think what i'm probably end up doing is going out and planting some oil seed radish in it that should be good i think oil seed radish just fine there down there we are all right uh, so yeah, so we still have a lot of other things to do. I got to go fill up water. I did have a fuel delivery done. So we have another 2000 liters of gas here. Got that red diesel <laughs> and we are good to go on that front. So yeah, it's just going to be doing, I need to go grab my, my bucket loader here so I can scoop some manure and make a few runs of manure over here and yeah now we're just waiting they were saying around noon they were going to come do the pickup for the uh for for all the lettuce and everything so i'm gonna need to get that ready and staged for them and then we'll go from there All right, guys, I got suckered into something here. So uh, while I was running some errands here in town, I was talking with one of the other farmers here, Mr. Uh, Cliff uh, Powell, and he showed off his new potato harvesting system to me and uh, let me do a couple passes down here in his field. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. This is a new piece of potato harvesting technology that i had not seen before but not all it's, it's pretty much all root crops uh with just a few changes to the header system here we can do everything carrots parsnips red beets uh sugar beets potatoes this is phenomenal and it has a pretty decently sized uh working header on it here a lot of those grimes uh potato harvesters they're about a three meter working on them and this baby's coming in at 5.4 meters I know it doesn't sound like much, but 
uh, with like 60,000 liter capacity on it. And we're here pushing about five miles an hour without too much strain on the uh, on the, the motor engine. Uh, yeah, I think I think this is definitely going to be something that I'm going to do. Uh, I definitely think maybe I'll, I'll swap gears and have that one long field where we planted our weed at. Uh, if I can buy the other field, link those two together, and then try doing my hand, try my hand at some root crops, because that's not something that I've done too terribly much of. I'm thinking potatoes would probably be the way that I go, but man, I mean, this is just, this is wild. Uh, we're flying. I know that five miles an hour doesn't feel like flying, but you know, when I'm harvesting wheat at three miles an hour, uh, this is, this is crazy. Um, but anyway, uh, he kind of suckered me into working this field for him. I don't really have too much else going on. And so, uh, he managed to talk me into working this field for him here. And, uh, so... There's a few other farmers I know that have got uh, some beets and stuff like that that they're looking to farm. I mean, just look at this thing. Look, it, it chops the stalks and then it gets down in, pulls the potatoes up, moves them through here, through these little conveyor system, up into this main storage tank on this. It's just absolutely wild. This thing is uh, is absolutely phenomenal. And I think that this might become something that is part of the farm for us. Uh, very reasonably priced. And so I think it's definitely going to be something that we end up picking up onto the farm. And, uh, and, and yeah, <laughs> diversifying crops. Normally, uh, I am not really interested in uh, planting, you know, root crops just because they were so ponderously uh, slow to harvest and i mean basically doubling the harvesting with this is kind of phenomenal so i'm uh, i'm i'm really happy this system here and i definitely think that uh root crops are no longer off the table for me i think it's definitely something that i'm going to consider uh especially if i can get a little more contracting in because i know there's a few people uh cliff was saying that there was a couple other people here in the valley that were having issues with getting out and harvesting and he was going to go ahead and and help them out but i mean i might uh i might see if i can get in on some of this action uh be able to pay this bad boy off we're actually he's actually paying us a pretty decent sum of money to do this field i feel like if i can get this field done as well as uh make my way to one of the other fields i think we'll be sitting pretty Take a look here. Uh, he's offering us uh, 96K for doing this. So we can pick up maybe harvesting field two. Field two is a pretty sizable little field. Uh, 29 acres. Uh, field one is 61 acres. And that would pay us nearly 200K. That'd be, that would cover the cost of one of these vehicles. So if I can get that done, if I can get this field done at a reasonable time, uh, I might do that and spend the rest of the month of August just kind of helping contract things out. Things are good on the farm. Uh, cattle have been fed, chickens, everything's topped up. Uh, and I mean, I could just have my my dad or my brother, you know, kind of run day-to-day -day ops there if they don't mind. Because, I mean, having something like bring, being able to bring something like this to the, to the farm, oh, that's definitely going to be a huge force multiplier for us. Uh, and I, man, I'm absolutely loving this machine. Oh, I'm going to have to actually make my way back to the farm anyway and go grab my, uh, go grab my tractor and my bin. Actually, I might look into just getting that man truck. I think, I think I could talk myself into getting that just so I can have, uh, some bigger hauling options. That lifted there. All right. Yeah. I think I'm going to make my way back to the dealership. See about getting that man truck. And, uh, and going from there, because that's definitely, yeah, that's definitely going to be it. I'm probably going to have to take a little bit of uh, my line of credit out just to get a decent trailer for it, but that's fine. Uh, I think we'll definitely be making more more than our money's back on, uh, on all this. So, yeah, jeez, <laughs> ain't nothing to it but to do it. I will catch you guys in a bit once we kind of get set back up here.
so we can keep on harvesting. Okay, so we actually just finished uh, finished our harvest here on the field. All of the potates are gone, and we are going to drop off our excess here that we had left over uh, to potato factory here, the, to the to the French fry factory. Well, pretty pumped. To how much money I'm going to get off of this? We'll get ourselves lined up here in the back. 
and we still have enough time that we could start an additional field if we so wanted to the rest of the month i think we will i think we're going to go try to do the red beets i think uh that one's going to be one of the top paying ones look at this oh yeah oh yeah look at all that money uh, we did get an environmental score penalty because our farm is uh you know we're not at tip top but yeah so we were able to buy our man truck and we are released to own on our hauler here and uh released to own on our uh harvester over there so we'll definitely be able to pay the harvester off if we go knock out this big expensive uh well we're gonna get 96k off of this then i think we're gonna go for field one's harvest build this is 61 acres just finished i don't even know how big field nine is it's definitely not as big as it's not as nowhere near as big as field one but by doing field one we will be able to we will be able to pay for everything that we need to pay for so i think we're going to try to knock that one out pretty long estimated time but that was for something that only has a three three with uh a three meter working with when we are using a six meter working with so we should be able to knock it out and then rotate in next uh next month uh september which be what that's harvesting yeah september that is us harvesting oh no we already did wheat oh soybeans is october so yeah any other jobs that we have during that time anybody else got any potato fields or any anything Red beets, carrots, parsnips. Yeah, so we'll be able to harvest all of that with this machine. So I guess we'll just figure out, uh, you know, we'll just be putting it through its paces, trying to get as much money as possible uh, to pay things off because we took out, <laughs> we, we, we spent a lot of money. So, so yeah, so we're going to just make our way to field one. Matter of fact, I'm just... We'll accept this contract. And so there, there we are. Now I'm going to go pull the vehicle off of the uh, field 29. Just don't get dinged because of the uh, mod that we have in where we get penalized for driving over uh, other farmers. Field. But yeah, um, I'll probably montage mode some of the field one, but this is essentially just us jobbing to try to pay things off uh, around the farm. So I hope you enjoyed the content. If you have, please consider leaving me uh, a subscribe a like and a comment we are trying to grow the channel we are really close to hitting 300 uh subscribers which is awesome that puts us nearly at a uh, 30 percent of the goal for the end of the year which is to get to a thousand so literally can't do it without you thanks so much for watching i appreciate you, and i hope that you have a great morning afternoon wherever and whenever you are uh this budge dice roll we're going to keep on farming. I'll catch you guys in the next one.